Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna go over uh, and do our daily technical analysis update of uranium. Uh, things are looking really good uh, overall, at least in terms of the physical price. Uh, we'll go over all that. I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean, give you my opinion. And again, this is just my financial opinion. Please don't use this advice. Here we go, let's jump right in. So I've got the uranium futures contract. We're at $60.70, but this is what I really like about this chart here. Uh, we've got kind of this rounding bottom. So you've got the, the lows are getting higher and higher. They're coming up. So we have higher lows and we have higher highs. And what's happening is we're, we're starting to accelerate. So one, I'll throw a, basically a kind of a, a trend line in here. We're kind of coming up. We gapped up off this break here and we're really starting to run. Uh, this could really start to move to the upside here, big time. So it's it's looking really solid from the uranium futures contract prices, very solid. Now, looking at the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust, this is also starting to take off. It's looking really good. We've got the volume on the right-hand side, check. We've got the, the break of the resistance line, check. And we're getting the large, big up movements uh, these are monthly candlesticks on the right hand side here. Check. This all looks really bullish. Uh, we can zoom in on the daily candlesticks, and I like what I see today. Uh, this is a very strong buying pressure day. Uh, I think we're probably going to go higher in the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. Looks very good. So we had a little bit of a pause here on top of its support resistance area. We had some resistance coming up, and the buyers decided to push this thing higher. So it, it looks very good from, from that perspective. Uh, URNM also looking like it's squeezing up. Uh, so we're, we've continued to squeeze up. We tried breaking out yesterday. Uh, we didn't have a favorable outcome. I can almost draw it here, guys. We are getting real close to a break, I think. We're squeezing on up. We tried to run yesterday. It came back. It tried selling off today, but it was bought up. Um, so we've got two forces hitting each other. We've got the buying forces and the selling forces. Uh, with looking where the uranium price, the physical uranium prices is gone, I think this is going to break higher. I think we're very close. So I, I've been taking as many positions as I can in the companies that I think are my favorite companies. Uh, one of those companies is Bannerman. I do like Bannerman. Uh, we're getting positive development here. We keep getting hammer patterns. The sellers can't sell this thing off. We're above the breakout of this falling wedge. And I think we'll eventually work our way higher very soon. Uh, looking at Goviax, another one that's broken out on top of its pattern. I think we're going to break higher eventually. We're just moving sideways at this time. But this is positioned very well. Low downside risk because you got support underneath it and good upside potential. So that, that's what I look for. Looking at Global Atomic, we're still inside this pattern. It's the big, big old pattern I'm drawing. We could still have some more time in it. I'm not exactly sure because if, if we run in, in uranium, I would suspect that this would run to the upside. So again, I'm cost averaging into the positions that I like. Uh, Forces Metals has also got this massive pattern that's developing. We've been moving sideways, uh, even squeezing up further in it. So we can have patterns within patterns and we'll see which way this thing breaks. Um, but we've got support right underneath it, even if it breaks to the downside. Pure point uranium just moving sideways. Uh, usually when companies are about to break and make large moves, they move sideways for a while. It's a consolidation, uh, kind of a squeeze up type period. And I think we're doing that in some of these companies right now. Deep yellow starting to move higher. This thing is looking like it's getting some traction to move on up. Uh, this is one of my overweight companies. Uh, John Borshoff over at Deep Yellow. Uh, Paladin Energy. Yeah, it was sold off a little bit, but the buyers came in and bought it back up. This is kind of the line that we were make, that we were scribing higher, but uh, yeah, it still looks okay. Everything's intact. We've got Sky Harbor, another one that's been moving sideways. Uh, we're sitting on top of a pattern here. That's where we're at on top of this guy with support all underneath it. Usually, you get this double type bottom, and then it'll break and sit here for a little while, and then it breaks and moves on up. Uh, so it's doing exactly what we would su what we suspect out of a out of a bottom, double bottom pattern. Uh, Can Alaska is sitting on top of its little uh, consolidation pattern. It's on top of it. If you look from a big long-term perspective, it's sitting right there. Volume's kicking up uh, on the dailies. It's still just moving sideways. 
Uh, this is where I like to purchase purchase companies. I just purchase it in here. I cost average in, and then I wait for the move. Next gen energy moving up a little bit, uh, 1.64%. Again, we're we're kind of like almost in kind of a little squeeze up pattern here. We'll see which way this thing goes. Base load moving sideways at its resistance line. <clears throat> We've got fission 3.0. Uh, this one also up 3.0. 26% moving side basically sideways. Uh, we are broken, we've broken out. This looks it looks good. Looks like we're trying to squeeze up into some kind of pattern. And we could have some more squeezing to go. Uh, the volume is kicking up. There's your volume kicking up. So it looks good, and we've broken the downtrend line. Everything looks great. Everything looks great. Uh, this is kind of that funnel pattern in, in fission. The funnel pattern usually you get a couple of, of moves here. You go back and forth a couple of times and you break out of this funnel and have a, a massive launch from it. But uh, Fission's looking good. We're just moving sideways in, in the pattern. Camco is still on top of, of its pattern. Still looks great for a move higher. It's just resting. It's a cheetah resting. Once the cheetah runs, guys, you better be, you know, in it or out. I mean, it's, if you get caught out of it, you know, but everything's, everything looks good. And because that's some problem moving sideways for the most part. It's getting a little bit on the weak side. Uh, Peninsula Energy, another spot that I like. This is getting a little bit of strength built up, so I like that one. Uh, it's broken outside of the pattern, sitting on top of it. Uh, Boss Energy, another sideways day. This thing's been moving sideways for a while. Uh, Consolidated Uranium, another one that's below its resistance line. Uh, another one that you want to look at is, you know, wh what are the lows doing? Are they coming on up? And maybe I didn't draw that correct somewhere down a little bit further. Lotus Resources is, is, is resting right under its all-time highs. We've got Uroy, another one that's building up a little bit of buying pressure down here. I, I like Uroy down here, guys. I do. I like it. Encore Energy, the squeeze of a lifetime going on here. It just keeps squeezing up in this corner here. Uh, we've got UUUU. It's above support, still looking okay. URG getting a little bit more buying pressure today. This actually looks quite good. Like we could maybe move higher here at any second. UEC, another one that's squeezing upward. Uh, it looks like we've got a little, you know, flag pattern there. Uh, LEU, another one that's been moving sideways with support underneath it. Uh, LTBR moving sideways, consolidating. Uh, ISO Energy looks like we're trying to get a little bit of buy-in pressure here. We'll see what we do next. Uh, Appy Energy, another one that I really like, moving sideways. Kind of looks like a little, you know, flag pattern if I could draw. Denison Mines moving sideways. It's consolidating, ready, getting, getting ready for a move higher. Uh, Blue Sky Uranium moving sideways. A lot of these are moving sideways, guys. Uh, and even Forum Energy Metals. Getting a little bit of, you know, maybe like a squeeze going on here. Anfield Energy moving sideways. Don't make it. Don't make me say sideways again. Come on. Another one that's got a little pattern that's developing here. Uh, I do like where this is at. We've broken the downtrend line. We're above support. Everything looks good for a potential move up. Uh, this one's getting a little bit, a little bit more selling pressure in, in that one. This is a Western Uranium Vanadium Corp. Uh, UEXCF. Yep, we're bouncing around on top of its support line. Again, long term, guys. This looks really good. On top of things, the volume's kicking up. Everything looks like it should for a move higher. Uh, Mega Uranium, another one that's sitting on top of its pattern. Uh, looks good. We're just moving sideways. Standard Uranium, uh, exploration company moving sideways for the most part in kind of this channel type move. Uh, ALXCF moving sideways. Uh, Azencourt moving sideways. Azencourt's really squeezing up, everyone. This could have a big move at any time here. So, I mean, this is one that you kind of, you buy in, you cost average in, and you just sit in it and wait for the break. Uh, Valor Metals, a little bit more selling pressure. We could come back here and do a retest, but again, that would be a buying opportunity uh, on, on the big picture view. Uh, this is Elevate Uranium up 5.3%, looking quite good. Uh, we've got a, a downtrend line that's broken here. There's that one. That one kind of squeezed up there yeah everything looks good everything looks good and then 92e 
is another one that that's broken out of its uh out of its pattern here broke out and we're we're kind of coming up uh it looks bullish to me to move higher uh for elevate or uh 92 energy limited uh so that's the uranium sector guys everything in the uranium sector looks pretty good for the most part we're sitting on top of patterns again we're 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 moving all around on top of the pattern, which is fine. It doesn't matter. The physical uranium price in terms of the futures moving on up. The sprot or sput looks like it wants to go higher as well. Uh, it's breaking to the upside. Uh, so I do think that the mining companies, any second here, any second. And uh, I know a lot of people get impatient. That's not what you want to do. You you want to take your positions, be patient. Uh, the The futures pricing looks incredibly strong incredibly strong and once that takes off i think these will blow to the upside as well so yeah everything looks good uh i i'm gonna be i'm gonna be looking to, to purchase and spread my money out uh, i have no problems buying across all these different sectors uh, i think all the sectors look really good uranium looks good precious metals looks good rare earths look good they, a whole bunch of these look really good uh could the overall markets bring us down a little bit in the short term very well could very well could bring us down a little bit but you know what i'm gonna remain positive i'm gonna look for opportunities i'm gonna buy the cheap assets and then just hold on i'm gonna hold on and wait for this to all get revalued higher which it will with time if you guys like the content give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, check out my website platinum membership uh this weekend we're going to be doing a question and answer session uh, if you want to partake in it sign up for, for the platinum membership join join up uh, come this weekend, come with questions. Uh, I'll, I'll be sharing what my favorite picks are in, in all these different sectors if you guys ask. So, you know, hey Andy, what's your favorite pick for XYZ? Or could you check out this chart? Maybe, you know, maybe this one's good. And then maybe I can do a quick, quick look at it. Uh, if you guys want some training, if you want training on chart reading so you guys can do it yourself, uh, let me know. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do and I'm going to do this. I got to figure out the the, the, the time frame, and we're gonna. I'll, I'll just go through some charts. I'll, I can go through your guys' charts and tell me we, we can go through and, and read through it and what I like about it, what I dislike about it, uh, about whatever companies we bring up, uh, what I look for, the, the patterns, and all that. And we can do we can use real charts because that's where you gain all of the the knowledge. And I'll show you the patterns and what I see, and I can show you uh, the, the the technical related you know maybe uh, definitions behind it. Uh, if you're a platinum member, it will be free. If 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 you're not a member at all, uh, I would suggest becoming a platinum member so it is free and and I can start helping uh, train a lot of the people that are on the website. So that'll be additional uh, value for you guys uh, if you decide to become a platinum member. Uh, I will schedule the training. I got to figure out when I want to do this first, and then uh, we can hold the training, uh, and then and then we can figure it all out. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.